Hi guys, hope you are doing good at your home, enjoying your vacation. So uh, here, yeah, but while enjoying the vacation and be safe within the home, you need to focus on your studies. So as I have instructed, you have given the uh, coursework for the uh, project management lecture by Indonesian sir. So I hope that you are going ahead with that one. But uh, uh, since uh, that lecture has not been conducted yet, uh, I am here to give you a kind of small support. So basically, the uh, lecture is uh, regard sorry uh, the course is uh, regarding uh, uh, site layout. So site layout in the sense uh, it is not about the uh, setting out of main building basically so as a site you need to have some kind of facilities and uh, you need to accommodate some kind of services in order to maintain the uh, main work or as uh, the work for the project so then uh, you need to uh, kind of uh, arrange all the things as per the requirement of your project so project details has been given it is a apartment building with uh, four ten stories including basement and all other things so it is actually kind of middle rise uh, building not a very high rise so uh, to smaller kind of scale project so here there you can have kind of uh, several uh, required facilities and basically uh, those facilities can be identified as like this uh, initially we want to accommodate some kind of services one thing is uh, for the officers and the site location when it comes to officers uh, definitely you need to have office for your main contractor and then um, you want to have a office for your some uh, subcontractors and then uh, you need to have office for the engineers and then uh, regarding uh, accommodation that is one of the most important thing uh, if you cannot find out any accommodation outside the premises you need to build up it within your site premises so basically accommodation is uh, not mostly focused for the staff but for the labors so labor in the sense uh, this is not only for main contractors labors but for some other subcontractors also you need to supply a kind of accommodation so uh, the durability of the those office and accommodation should be uh, in accordance with the project duration if uh, you don't worry about renovation or something like that while going on the project so that kind of durability should be there uh, and uh, other thing is uh, in together with this accommodation you might be required to have a kind of canteen but uh, since this is 10 story building i don't think that it is a kind of large scale project but uh, mostly you need to have a kind of dining area and those things and Another important thing is stores. Uh, so, site office and accommodation. Ah, when it comes to office, uh, you might be seeing that normally offices can be built with uh, uh, containers. So, then it can be built as a two-story office complex. So, one story for the main contractor and other story for the employee and the engineer. Some kind of arrangement can be done or else... Uh, you can build up uh, single story things as well. Same for the uh, accommodation as well. But you need to consider it is with uh, relevant to your uh, space that is in the available within your site premises. And then uh, you need to focus about the services. So when it comes to services, uh, you need to supply service for those officers and accommodation as well as you need to accommodate those services for the uh, your main project. So then you need to have a separate small location for uh, those uh, uh, 
kind of uh, services location for water drainage electricity and sometimes kind of water bay is there uh, why water bay is required because uh, the tower sorry uh, concrete trucks and other trucks will be coming into your site while going out from uh, when they are going out uh, from your site premises you need to clean up those tires and all these things because otherwise the uh, traffic police and all these people will come to you and sue against you there will be kind of complaint from the outside if uh, your vehicles are going outside with muddy situation like that so in that case for in order to clear up those things uh, water base required at the entrance premise so that is kind of one requirement and rather than that uh, you will be required tower crane uh, since it is 10 story, some might be having tower crane, some might not be. But uh, uh, if you are required to have tower crane, then uh, tower crane base is, should be there. For tower crane base, it is kind of square shaped one. So having one meter thickness or something like that, uh, where you should, that uh, base should bear all the weight of the tower crane. So then uh, it will be constructed. Uh, uh, with small piling okay so that is all about services and all these things and on the other hand when it comes to services that meters and all these things should be uh, reached from outside the premises then only those people agency people can come and make your monthly payment uh, otherwise it will be a difficult and uh, that is it. If you have any existing thing, then you need to do some kind of refurbishment or uh, kind of uh, taking into other place or something like that. But I don't think that such kind of detail is not there in your course. Then temporary roads, uh, hand standing and access. Uh, I think you might not be required to have temporary road, but uh, within the site, uh, you need to have some kind of access. Uh, access in the sense, since it is 10 story building, definitely uh, you need to find up a way to going upper floors. So, normally staircases will not be constructed at initial stages, though the structure is going on. So, until those uh, staircases are finished and those staircases are there, it is difficult to they uh, transport material through the staircases and it comes to rooftop or nine floor or something like that. So then you need to have kind of a, a transportation system for the upper floors and you need to have a separate uh, location just into your main project. And then other plant and equipment. So since it is a project including uh, uh, several piles, so you need to have uh, that uh, pile uh, machine should be taken into the premises. You need to careful about that. And uh, when it comes to the other equipments, uh, uh, you need to build up a way to access into your main project and need to build up a way to access into accommodation. Normally, accommodation is kind of uh, you can establish this at the corner of the uh, site premises which is far away from which is having the uh, bit far away from the main entrance because accommodation should not be there at the main entrance it is not a requirement so then uh, you need to make up a pathway to go there otherwise people cannot uh, reach for their accommodations and uh, uh, that is the thing that you are required to have in such location and then one of the specific thing is storage so storage in the sense you need to store so many materials uh, which is having uh, several types of features some uh, store materials like uh, sand or something block uh, blocks bricks or something like that it is okay to expose to the weather condition but uh, some material like cements reinforcement and steel uh, those materials you don't you cannot expose to the uh, weather condition but uh, you need to make sure that but uh, that is not required to have very secured uh, totally covered area or something like that when it comes to uh, reinforcement and cement but anyhow it should be protected from the 
with their condition changes and uh, but some other materials are there something like uh, uh, sanitary fittings tiles and ironmongeries or if your project is going to be a boi project then all the boi material which you are importing from uh, importing so then those materials should be uh, carefully handled and it, for those materials special security or the uh, your storage should be totally can be totally locked or something like that uh, such kind of requirement is there and uh, if there is any blasting or something then you will be using kind of uh, chemicals or toxic material not only for the blasting for other purpose also you might be uh, taking some toxic material then you need to uh, specially uh, attend for that kind of thing those cannot be mix up with other things so special uh, uh, attention should be required to them so normally office uh, normally a uh, uh, site it, it is having a main store where you can uh, issue uh, kind of small items like uh, PPE items and nuts and balls, uh, binding wires or something like that. And uh, some other thing, uh, other stores will be there, open up stores for reinforcement cement or something like that. And uh, but uh, sometimes when it comes to sanitary fittings or something like that, so that it, that means you are not going to import or you are not going to purchase those type of material at very initial stage. Then after while going on the construction, you can use basement or not the ground level but first floor or something to store that kind of material. So that is the another thing that you need to consider. So. For such kind of material, then you are not required to have separate uh, storage outside of your building premises. You can use the same basement or something like that once since it has been completed the construction. Because sanitaries or ironmongeries are not required at the very initial stage. So that is one thing. So you need to uh, consider about those things. And uh, you need to place, it is better if you can place a CCTV camera system, you can decide where you are required to place CCTV but make sure it should not be focused on accommodation or some private area. So such kind of uh, things are there to consider when you are doing that thing. And uh, so and another the important thing is scaffolding and those type of lease material. So sca uh, scaffolding things and all these things they are coming as lease material. So once your project has been completed, you have to return them. So they will be using as tools or something and some other machineries. So they you cannot dispose of something once your project is completed. You, again, you need to hand over it to either to your head office stores or to whatever the supplier. Then you should again pay a special attention for uh, storage of such kind of things. Uh, you can... Uh, uh, you can keep a kind of uh, separate places where you are going to store such kind of things. Okay, uh, so that is the basic things uh, you need to think about the site premises. Uh, so first of all, you should know what are the things that is required under these main main categories. What are the offices you are required? What are the uh, accommodations you are required? And then you need to determine what is the size of them. So that should be included in your report. Then when you are going to determine the size of it, uh, you need to consider about the how many mem members are going to be accommodated, how many pe uh, people are going to use this premises. So such kind of things you need to consider. Uh, then based on that thing, you can think about the size and you need to consider about the height as well. And then... Uh, you need to know how to get access uh, through each other. So once the labor enter into the site premises, he has to go to the office and then he has to go to the accommodation. Then he might be required to go to the stores and uh, he might to need to be go to the uh, upper floors. Then how he 
take that thing and when it comes to tower fan it should be rotated so when it is rotating uh, there should not be uh, under that uh, circle there should not be accommodation or something because sometimes those material can be collapsed from it uh, then uh, if there is any accommodation or something like that then people will get injuries so then uh, those kind of things should not be um, happen in the uh, tower crane area circuit that's within that circle so you should you can uh, have an idea what is that radius of that circle or something like that and then uh, some facilities are required to easy access uh, because when it comes to stores sometimes uh, uh, that uh, access to stores should have a very clear and kind of wide path rather than uh, access to the accommodation or something because you need to handle bulk storage uh, so uh, tower crane sorry containers uh, when it comes to reinforcement that those vehicle which is handling 12 meter bars or something then those thing should not can, can be accommodate within your premises so then that thing need to be considered by uh, you when you are doing the your kind of uh, design so this presentation is kind of uh, Indonesia's presentation and uh, I will focus on this type of uh, case study, few case studies for you. So it is a six story steel frame building and this is the uh, uh, site layout. So you can see that uh, uh, where is the car park, car park even they have decided and building has been clearly marked and then uh, within that thing there will be staircase and lift shaft and uh, how do how do they get the access and the such thing but uh, here they did not specify regarding other thing ah, it's there so then they have established so this is the initial this is the initial plan you might, you might be having and based on that one you are required to draw such kind of detailed plan so then you can de uh, decide uh, where are the officers where are the security storage means fully locked and all these things timber and brick storage scaffolding storage canteen dining room toilet so some uh, when it comes to toilet yes you need to consider about that thing it is better if you can have separate for male and female it is a huge issue when it comes to the site management people and you can see where is the tower crane base and uh, what is the circle of that particular tower crane and how the fencing is going on. So uh, part of the site, uh, two sides it will be covered with chain link and while other two parts will be covering with close board hoarding. So that is a one of example and um, how do they take the access? So normal access will be on other side but they make uh, access from that major road not from the small access road so you can see uh, here it was the earlier previous ac uh, access was from here but instead of that they have erected the access from here but by getting permission or something like that so then they can easily handle the large vehicles or something like that uh, and accommodation they have uh, clearly mentioned and uh, yeah so this kind of area they have kept for vehicle turning kind of lorries so containers or something like that and concrete uh, place to where uh, concrete farm because uh, uh, there should be a specific place for concrete farm because uh, when you are going upwards, you might be need to pump through kind of uh, some other ways, not directly through the concrete car, uh, but uh, through kind of tubes or something like that. Then it should be having a specific uh, place for that uh, placing of concrete car. Uh, and then uh, heavy material storage, you can see it. 
and uh, is going like okay so that is the normal thing that you can see so likewise uh, i hope that uh, you have a kind of clear idea and uh, this is your cursor so scale of project to get an idea about the scale of project it has been given it is having 40 files shell and shell and form in the uh, structure and facade uh, when it comes to facade uh, facade direction will be doing by the outside and uh, you know facade is uh, uh, material using glass so it should be carefully handled so for that you need to have a kind of a gap with the scaffolding otherwise uh, you cannot place facade in a careful manner and then uh, lift core should be there and for the MEP you need to have a specific place and uh, landscaping will not be considered for the site layout and uh, details has been given including the uh, all the figures it is uh, near to some small road then you can see that and you are required to prepare a poster as set uh, so marking scheme so proposed site layout will be only having 25 marks but for your justification it will be having 35 so you need to justify why you put here what is, what is the uh, requirement for that size why didn't you go for other sizes what is the uh, usage of having that specific thing or something like that okay and uh, you are required to give references as well so that is all about this uh, presentation site is clear no it is kind of uh, big area so you can see but uh, your access road is small uh, if you can zoom and see whether there is a small access then you can uh, keep that small access if you can have uh, access like this then uh, within this premises if you can have accommodation you can keep access to the accommodation in such a way but again no but again uh, you need to have a separate security hut if you are going to put uh, uh, access to this because uh, if site labors and all these people are going out with your kind of small tools and all these things it should be clearly checked then for that uh, security hut should be there for each and every entrance there should be a security hut uh, otherwise it will be difficult to manage so i hope that you can have a clear idea and uh, you can go up with your project so congratulations <laughs> for your task